Hey, what's good family? Um, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use a macro in Machine 2. Um, so what is a macro? It sounds way more complicated than what it is. Whenever I think of macros, I think of like uh, macroeconomics, uh, macro like in some type of a computer programming language. Um, it's, it's not that scary. It's not that complex. All it is is just assigning a value to, uh, I mean, assigning a parameter rather to a knob of your choice. And why do you want to do that? Well, I guess, uh, I guess a good example is I found this kind of cool sound. Um, using reactor blocks. Oh, by the way, if, uh, if you haven't downloaded blocks for reactor, if you use reactor, um, do so now. It's a free download from Native, Native Instruments. It's really cool. Um, anyway, I found this cool sound. Um, I tweaked it a little bit and I want to use it in one of, my, one of my productions, but I want to automate some of the parameters like uh, the cutoff, the sub, and the, the resonance. So I found, you know, I found the, the parameters but they're not next to each other. So I want to capture a performance and, and able to do that, um, I need to have those parameters on like knobs on the same page or, or, or at least close to each other. So what I want to do is just uh, create a macro quote unquote um, and put these parameters next to each other on one page. How do we do that? It's very easy to do. You click on, on your screen, you click on the, uh, control uh, button and you'll see this part come up and you just click on it's not on macros already you just click on macros and you're going to want to add a new page to that so if it's on automation you want to click on pages then you click on add and this window will come up with these choices so you can add eight macros on one page and you can do multiple pages so on the first macro um, it's already clicked on it I hit the pull down Let's get this thing out of the way. Um, we're going to go to steps. I'm going to want to add filter cutoff. So this is my first macro. Um, the second macro I wanted to add was the uh, sub controller. So I just click on the next one. <clears throat> Same steps. You hit steps. Um, I'm going to want to go to my oscillator I believe and yeah there it is sub add sub one more thing I want to add and that is the the resonance and there it is there <clears throat> so now I've got my three parameters that I want to control as you can see they're right here on the knobs right next to each other um, Now, I want to just go ahead and record the automation in. I just hit play and click on my auto write button. If I'm happy with that performance, then um, I can just save it and move on. Uh, another thing you can do is you can name these. Um, it doesn't have to be cut off. You can name it something something cool like, um, let's say, sub. Uh, let's name that muscle. Um, resonance, let's name that. Um, let's name that screamer. Spell it right. And let's name the cutoff emotion. So you can name these whatever you want. In addition to that, you can save your preset to pull up at another date and time. So that's basically it. That's how you use macros. Um, if you don't know, now you know. Thank you.